Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Augusto back at it with another video on this poppin' YouTube channel, Fantasy Lifestyle. Dun, 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 dun. Today is a day where we finally get to work on the project car. <laughs> so before we work on the project car, we're actually gonna go get some gains. Some gains. Because we need to actually get back on track on fitness. I do apologize if it's really loud in the background because there's a lot of cars. If there's a lot of cars, and I mean it's gonna be too much sound on the microphone. I hope it doesn't peak. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get some lifts in, and I'll catch you guys after we do the workouts. Yeah, okay, peace. What's up, guys? So we just finished working out at the gym. It's hot. It's like three degrees. Not the best. But, just a quick little update. After this, we're just gonna grab something to eat and then we're gonna go head over to the project car. Is the spoiler new? All right, guys, so I can't really talk that loud and you guys can't probably see me, but we're at Black Bear eating breakfast. So I'll catch you guys later. Bam! See that? So we're here guys, and I don't know if my vibe or the energy on this clip right now is the same as the first one or the first couple ones, but if it's not, I apologize. The food from Black Bear definitely got me, and I'm kind of tired, but you know what? Tired, schmired, whatever the heck, I'm gonna push through this. Let's get this Mustang clean and see what we're actually working with. All right, so as you guys can see, Right here, the emblems right here are not present, but I believe we do have that. Now, right here, we do have to definitely put some work into this. A lot of elbow grease and whatnot. Now, if you check out the lines, obviously, you need to push this back in, but that seems straight. This seems straight. If you look at the door line, all the way down over there it's pretty clean now as you can see that there is very very much needed work on the steering wheel we do have a new one right here with the center cap but that's probably not going to be put on anytime soon because we're probably going to change something and yes unfortunately it is a v6 and it is an automatic but we're going to make this work yeah, so this is what we got so far, halfway through the carpet and uh, more parts in the back. And then these side door cards need to be repainted as you can see right there. Uh, what we're gonna try and do is clean this car as much as we can so we could actually see like this right here. The only reason why one side is purple and the other side isn't or some parts aren't is uh, they're trying to sand this down and it was like there was a huge crack right there but they actually put bondo on that so that's unfortunate but other than that main goal is to keep everything clean obviously not get water inside of there because we do have to replace some of the door seals so that should be an easy fix yeah we're gonna get this started right now so stay tuned Alrighty guys, so we're going to start off by sanding a couple of the little bits and pieces to make everything smooth before we actually do um, wash the whole entire car just to see how much more we got to work on it. So with all that being said, let's go start and uh, get this thing sanded. Alrighty guys, so as you can see here, we're trying to kind of um, smooth things out. I didn't run it with the... Uh, sander yet only because I didn't want to go too aggressive um, it doesn't need it doesn't need that much of um, sanding on this particular area uh, right now currently we're just hitting it with an 800 grit but as soon as we get this all dialed down we're actually gonna hit it with a 2000 grit next um, honestly this is my first time doing body work but you know what um, we live and we learn and hopefully this actually does come out right so um, I'll catch you guys in the next clip as soon as I get this particular area because there's two spots as you as you guys can see So um, I'll keep you guys updated as soon as we get this figured out So I hope you guys can notice that Austin burnt this though because he doesn't know how to use the sander It's all good though We just live and we learn but just so you guys can know 
I am working on this too. We're both Smurf getting hands. <laughs> we're both getting Smurf hands. I'm not letting Austin do all the work. I feel bad for doing that. But as of right now, we just finished doing this one and this one. Moving on <gasps> to the truck. Another quick update. We just decided to just sand everything out. So I don't know if you guys could see, but you could finally see the color a little bit more. Ooh, yes. If you guys walk a little bit closer over here, you can see more of the original pearl to it right here. I don't know if the camera actually picks that up, but it looks beautiful. All we need to do now is just either buff it or wrap it or repaint it a new color or keep it blue. Tell us in the comment section down below. See if uh, what you guys think we should do. I know for a fact that after this it gets dry, it's gonna get really ashy, but um, it's gonna be a lot easier on the uh, aftermath when we choose a different color, or if we do. I didn't say anything. Okay, bye. All right, guys. So I don't know if you guys could tell how sweaty I am. It is currently almost like 109 degrees here in Sacramento, but. <sighs> I got Irene over here working her butt off, trying to sand this part down. I didn't do that. The sander did that. I didn't either. It was it was it was that thing. So we're gonna try and clean this up, get these parts smoothed the heck out, including this one. But I did find, unfortunately, oh, this one little rust spot right here. So maybe I could try to bondo or work something out on this one, but. As you can see, like I said, this part is completely smooth, but it is ashy as heck. So we're going to finish that side right there, and then we're going to try and get that one particular spot right there sanded out. And we're going to try to uh, clean it up, get the dust and the little spider webs off so you guys can see what the actual car looks like. So with all that being said, I will catch you guys next time when I pick up the camera. Peace. All right, so as you guys can see, Irene is using the sander now because we found out that there has been different layers of blue, so that only means one thing and one thing only, and that is this has been repainted multiple times already. So uh, we're trying to sand it down to the very first layer or try to at least get everything smooth and evened out. So yeah, we literally did all that other work, all that other sanding for no reason, but yeah. So now, what we're gonna do is uh, smooth it even more down on 800 grit, the whole hood, and then maybe next time we're gonna do the trunk. But this is the whole process that we're gonna have to do for the whole entire car in order for us to get it all situated. So I catch you guys when we actually do update this. So peace. I'm done, guys. I'm waving my mask. <laughs> so far guys we sanded the whole entire top of this car it's smooth she looks really really um ashy but she's smooth but um yeah uh, today is gonna be the first day of many obviously clearly but um yeah this is gonna be part one of this whole build restoration and everything like that so Hope you guys like it. Let me know on the comment section below if there is anything that you would recommend us doing. Um, and obviously, Irene, but... What? No. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to actually clean up over here. And then uh, we'll see you guys on the next clip. But also, by the way, inside, right under the 
steering wheel right there there's been a leak i don't know if it's coming from these vents right here but let me know if you guys know anything about it um comment down below if you guys know anything about it and if there's anything we could do to fix it or prevent that from happening but yeah we're basically just waiting for the car to get painted so we can literally just install everything and put everything together um because we're not really gonna try to put interior pieces yet um i was wrong i thought that was something we were able to do but obviously since we're gonna get it repainted and everything like that um the some of the parts of the door cards of the interior are actually needing to be matched or paint matched for the, from the paint on the outside so we're gonna wait until we get that part painted or matched so we could actually put all the interior pieces in so if i were you i'd press the subscribe right now put that notification bell on and uh yeah stay tuned because this car is going to be up and looking clean as a as heck clean as heck so i'll catch you guys in the next clip and i know i keep on saying that but it is getting really hot out here in sacramento so we're going to get something refreshing and then we'll catch you guys later so yeah thank you again if you made it this far i appreciate you so much uh comment down mustang in the comment section below if you're team mustang and we're back but sorry if my hands are shaking i don't got those gains yet but um we're done for the day but we got some tea for just to hydrate us you know on a day like this where it's 103 degrees we don't want to pass out but we're heading back to davis so far we only got not even half of the car done it really was uh for the most part there's a lot of learning that happened today it was a little big old learning process we got like hit in the forehead knowing that we could have just used a machine to sand down the whole entire car ouch okay well we wasted like two hours but you know what it's okay it's all a big learning process for us like Day by day, we're just learning something new about the car. It's gonna be a lot of blood, sweat, and tears going into that car, but it's fine. Well, that's all, folks. <laughs> Golden hour, though. What's up, guys? So, sorry about the sound within the video. We realized that we didn't attach the mic midway through the video, and we're just like, well, our dead cat's missing. But I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Please stay tuned for up and coming videos regarding the Mustang. Also, remember, September 20th, be ready for the merch drop. I'm serious, it's gonna be so good. <coughs> I created the design. But, shh, remember, tell your friends, tell your family, tell the neighbor, tell that one person you don't like, tell everyone because I am serious, this is gonna be so good. But please stay tuned for everything and what's to come. I'll see you guys next week on the next video. And one last thing, like always, stay positive and be awesome.